The waiting is finally over. The Betfair Challenge Series is upon us. Round one in Cardiff, the Pedalo. And I'm very lucky to be joined by our two gladiators, Phil the Cat Tufnell and Jason Dizzy Gillespie. They're about to toss. Tars River Files in South Wales. That's how it is. That's how it is. Well, I've given Fred a little phone call this morning just to pick up a few tips off him, so uh, I, I feel pretty confident. I've got the left-hand lane, that's the calmer water, so uh, I think I'm pulling pretty good. I'm a little bit concerned that the pedal is a little bit uh, too small for me. I've got long legs, so maybe that'll be, an be a disadvantage, but we'll have to wait and see. You must be delighted the hype's all finished now and we're actually about to get into this. You can't wait for it to start. Look, we've done all the preparation, done all the work. We just want to get in there and get started. So I'm all over him like a cheap suit. Well, Dizzy's got the edge in terms of height, possibly yeah. in terms of strength and speed as well. For you, it must be all about technique. Yes, all about technique and what's between there, mate, the grey matter. That's where you're going to win this challenge. Interestingly, neither man opting for a cox in this race, so no cox on show today. And let's not forget, Tuffers, of course, has a five-second head start thanks to his supporters voting for him in droves on fanvfan.com. Tension now mounting, we're about to get underway. And Tufnell's off. Tufnell holding his keys, I think, there. There goes Gillespie. Good Lord, he's running a heck of a lot slower than I thought he would. But that's knee surgery for you. <laughs> Tufnell well into the transition phase. That's a lovely entry. Right, where's reverse? Well, that's a very smooth transition, and Jason Gillespie now entering the boat, and Tufnell's away. Gillespie's got to do something here. Maybe he's saving himself. There's the first water bomb deployed. And there's one straight back at him. It's missed. That misses to the left. And Gillespie in all sorts of trouble already. He seems to be hard up against the pontoon. And that five second advantage is growing, if anything. And look at Tufnell going. He really, really has got into his stride early doors. He's giving it everything there. Now Gillespie, but now look, here he comes. Go on, go on, go on, come on. He loads up with another bomb. This could oh. be the ideal moment oh. to deploy. Oh. There's a second bomb from Gillespie. Return from Tufnell. No bombs are hitting their targets yet. No bombs at all. And Tufnell's still holding the lead. This is extraordinary. But Gillespie is gaining. Gillespie is coming back. Oh. This is where all the training really uh. starts to count. Oh. Tufnell feeling it. Uh. Look at the agony on his face, uh. but he's keeping uh. going. And Gillespie, has he got anything left? I think he has. <laughs> and that's a wasted bomb from Tufnell. That's all his bombs discharged. At least he's got less weight to carry now. What's he got left? Gillespie's gaining on him all the time, but he's going to run out of room. He's going to run out of room. I think Tufnell's got this. It's going to be very close on the line. It's going to be very close, but Tufnell's through the line. <laughs> he's won the first leg of the Betfair Challenge Series. English pedalo's pride is restored since oh. the Freddie Flint of disgrace. Come on! Britannia, Britannia has always ruled the waves. What a tremendous race that was. What a tremendous race. Let's hope he doesn't rub Gillespie's nose in it too much here because that would be sad to see. I should have bought a spare pair of underwear. <laughs> and that's a shame. He, it would seem he's soiled himself, which, which is a real shame. It's a shame it's ended like that. I could feel him catching up on me. I could feel him breathing down my neck down that home straight, but just managed to keep the old legs pumping. It was a and tremendous get effort. Line. A word for your fans who, who bought you that five second start. Listen, I need all the support you can get fans out there because I'm not as fit as I was. So you've got to give me as much time. That's what you've got to do. This is the first leg. Uh, There's a lot to play for in this it's series. It's only just the start. And yes, one nil down, but I'll be back. And as a man with a double ton to his name, up against a man who got 153 runs in his career, <laughs> you've, you've really got to think he's going to need more than three runs. Oh, I totally agree with that. Yeah. Totally agree. Hey, but those 153 runs were good runs. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. They were beautifully crafted. They were excellent runs at crucial <laughs> moments. Well, the rain's coming down now. We'll let you get out of the boat. Well done, Jensen. Well done. Thanks, Thanks fans. Yeah. I need all the support you can give me. Come on, Aussies. More for me. Come on. More. Yeah. Ah, oh, it feels good, always, but it always feels good to win. Dizzy put up a great show, but I've just got off a little bit quicker than him. I think it's all those years down at the seaside with my mum and dad on the pedalos, you know? Just gave me that crucial advantage. Well, mate, congratulations.
Right.